They say you never really know how much you appreciate something until it's gone. For me, this was being on safari, out in the bush, surrounded by wildlife and our people. So when we got the news that Zimbabwe borders had opened and they were allowing international travel, I knew I couldn't wait for one minute longer. Hi, it's been uh, eight months since I've been uh, away from Zimbabwe. It's the first time I'm back since the pandemic. I'm very excited. I left Cape Town this morning at about six o'clock. So a very early start, went through Johannesburg and I've just arrived at Harare International Airport. And shortly to be getting onto a light aircraft and going to the magnificent place called Manapuls, which is in the northern parts of Zimbabwe. I'm very excited about my first safari. I haven't seen elephants for over eight months. So this is gonna be great after Manapuls. We're headed down to Somalisa for another epic period. Five minutes away um, from Nyamatusi camp. We landed about an hour ago and uh, we've just seen a hyena lurking around in an open area. Very unusually so in such an open area during the day and of course with marabou stalks in the distance we suspected that there must be something from the last couple of days. Not many vultures lurking about, there's uh, probably a handful, but just under the tree here there's a buffalo carcass. It looks like uh, it was killed here at least two days ago. And there's these beautiful cats, well-fed lions, under a tree there. And they've probably been safeguarding that carcass for the last two days and slowly eating away at it. It's quite an amazing welcome committee. And we haven't even arrived in camp, so it's pretty amazing. <laughs> at African bush camps, Nyamatuzi camp today and I've been amongst elephant, buffalo, hippo, we've seen lion, we've seen all the animals you can imagine, warthog, we've had leopard in the camp this evening, the most exciting viewings. Um, I can't think of a better place to be during COVID, way safer than being in an urban environment and I think Nature-based travel is the way to go. We've just 
just landed in Wangi National Park at uh, Manga Airstrip and uh, we'll soon be meeting the guides, uh, friends I have not seen for seven months and taking a slow drive uh, into Somalisa camp where we'll be spending the next two nights. For me, it's been heartwarming to be back in the elements where dreams are made and experiences crafted. The place I love and the people with whom I share passion for wildlife. Returning here after such a long time has given me an even greater appreciation for the wealth that our wilderness has and a deeper resolve to share and conserve the beauty that awakes and brings life to so many. We all look forward to your return and sharing and conserving Africa with you.